What does mobility have to do with social justice? And how is mobility related to topics like sustainability, gender or accessibility? And how can we plan socially just and ecologically responsible mobility? These questions were addressed at the annual AOL Congress, which took place in Leipzig in June 2023, focusing on a multi-perspective view of the relationships between mobility, accessibility and various aspects of social participation through discussions among researchers and planners. The following statements of different participants cover various aspects of this multifaceted topic, but of course cannot cover the topic in all its aspects. Yeah, I think it's really great that the AIL choose the topic of transport, um, justice in transport is the uh, topic for the, this annual conference and I think we, yeah, we will face really a huge amount of people that, um, that are not seen in the system at the moment. Like I'm thinking just as personal concerns even thinking of the elderly people, like a lot of elderly people and this number will gro grow in future. They, they might be mobile nowadays, but in a couple of years, uh, maybe they still own a car, but living in the countryside and they might not be able anymore to drive a car, what do you do with them? And I, I really think we have to find solutions that uh, our elderly people uh, have the possibility that they are still part of our so society in future and that they can be, that the, their autonomy is prolonged and they can be an active part in, um, they can overtake an active part in their daily lives. There is a need to transform uh, the inherently gender-biased mobility systems that we have. Um, there is also, at the same time, a lot of innovation within the mobility sector. So I think there is a need to have uh, um, in innovative mobility structures and uh, um, cultures that transform uh, how we're able to deliver uh, mobility for the complex lives of women uh, uh, within our systems uh, to be able to transform how we deliver professional practice to enable uh, equity in women's participation in planning. So in order to make mobility more just and um, more accessible for everyone there also needs to be a focus in my opinion on procedural justice so basically the equal, equal access to information and to um, yeah, means of participation and engagement for everyone and for every voice um, and every group. And at the moment that is still not the case because a lot, of, uh, yeah, a lot of societal groups are kind of still left out of the debate and don't have this equal access to participate and to share their opinion. So today we have a situation that uh, attract, uh, it's not very attractive to travel by train and in a lot of cities, especially small towns, it's not possible to go by train because uh, we don't have rail tracks or they're not used for traffic for people. So my vision for the next 20 years is that we reactivate all rail lines and everybody can go uh, by train and in a very cheap, for a very cheap price, so everybody can afford their mobility. The goal should be not to provide uh, very high uh, mobility levels or, uh, you know, if ever increasing mobility levels because traveling a lot and especially being forced to travel a lot uh, is, uh, generates costs, uh, both in terms of money, time spent, tiredness and uh, being stressed and so on. Yeah, my vision for, for future mobility would be that everyone can access everything they need for their everyday lives and that it's very attractive and enjoyable for them. But what it needs in order to do so is new mobility services and everyone in different, different stakeholders working together like mobility providers, the municipalities and of course the public to involve the public is very important. And 
yeah, and that everyone wants to create together an enjoyable environment.